Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, we're very honored to be joined by the patron of the charity, His Royal Highness the Duke of Cambridge. We will be hearing from him later this evening. Actually, now that I've got started, let's keep going, right? Uh, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to London's Air Ambulance Gala this evening. And can you welcome to the stage the patron of London's Air Ambulance Charity, His Royal Highness the Duke of Cambridge. Please sit down, please. Thank you, Jonathan. Um, good evening, everyone. And uh, as Jonathan said, I'm, I'm delighted to be here tonight to celebrate the work of London's Air Ambulance Charity. As a former Air Ambulance pilot myself, I've seen firsthand the difference trauma teams can make to those in need. London's Air Ambulance Service is no different, and so it is a great privilege to be the patron of this exceptional charity. London's airspace is amongst the most difficult in the world in which to fly. The city is congested and landing spaces are in short supply. And over the last two years, the coronavirus pandemic has added further difficulty to an already challenging situation. This makes all the more impressive the work that London's Air Ambulance doctors, paramedics, pilots and support staff undertake every day to provide a life-saving service for the capital. What struck me when working as an air ambulance pilot was how serious injury does not discriminate. It can happen to anyone, at any time, in any place. Just one moment can turn a life upside down. Earlier this evening, I had the great privilege to meet a young man named Bruno and his father, Daniel. At age 11, Bruno was knocked off his scooter by a vehicle and suffered a serious brain injury. London's Air Ambulance flew to him immediately, arriving within minutes to bring the hospital to his side and saving his life. You'll hear from Bruno a little later, but right now I'd like to take the opportunity to thank everyone involved in providing medical support that day. What Bruno's story so clearly illustrates is that when every second waiting for treatment can mean the difference between life and death, flying by helicopter is absolutely crucial. In order to continue to deliver this outstanding time critical care, London's Air Ambulance must replace its current helicopter fleet by 2024. As a charity, London's Air Ambulance is reliant on support from the public. And tonight, your generosity will go towards this ambitious plan and will enable the charity to do even more in the future to deliver first class care when Londoners need it most. Thank you very much and enjoy your evening. <laughs> 